Welcome to Minity Maths. In this video we are going to explore the paradoxes of Hilbert's Hotel and dive into fascinating concepts of infinity, where the impossible becomes possible and numbers behave in ways you wouldn't expect. In this video we are going to consider how we can add 1 to infinity. What happens when infinite guests show up at a hotel that's already full? Subscribe and hit the notification bell for weekly maths videos. Imagine a hotel with an infinite number of rooms. Every room is occupied, and yet, the hotel manager tells you they can always accommodate more guests. Sounds impossible, doesn't it? Well, welcome to Hilbert's Hotel, a mind-bending thought experiment that dives into the strange world of infinity. The thought experiment of Hilbert's Hotel was introduced by the brilliant German mathematician, David Hilbert, in the early 20th century. Hilbert was a pioneer in many areas of mathematics, and this hotel paradox was his way of illustrating the strange and counterintuitive nature of infinity. His work continues to influence how we understand infinity. Hilbert's hotel isn't your ordinary hotel. Instead of a few hundred rooms, it has an infinite number, each labeled 1, 2, 3, and so on. But here's the catch, every single room is occupied. You might think that means no more guests can check in, but in the world of infinity, things work a little differently. Let's say a new guest arrives, but all the rooms are full. How can we make space? Simple, we ask each guest to move from their current room to the next one. The guest in room 1 moves to room 2, the guest in room 2 moves to room 3, and so on. This is possible as there are an infinite number of rooms. So, if we use the letter n to represent the room number, each guest has moved from room n to room n plus 1. This leaves room 1 empty, ready for our new guest. Even though the hotel was full, we've managed to squeeze in one more person. So, we can add 1 to infinity. But what if, instead of just one guest, an infinite number of new guests show up? It sounds impossible, but there's a way. We ask the current guests to move again, but this time, each guest in room N moves to room 2N, doubling their room number. So the guest in room 1 moves to room 2, the guest in room 2 moves to room 4, and so on. Now, all the odd-numbered rooms are free, and we can accommodate every new guest, as there are an infinite amount of odd-numbered rooms. Here, we have added infinity to infinity. It's mind-boggling, but that's the beauty of Hilbert's Hotel. So, to sum it all up, Hilbert's Hotel shows us how strange and fascinating infinity can be. Whether it's making room for one more guest or even an infinite number of new arrivals, these paradoxes reveal that infinity doesn't follow the same rules as ordinary numbers. Instead, infinity is flexible. This thought experiment opens up a deeper understanding of how mathematicians think about infinite sets and the boundless nature of numbers. Thanks for watching Minity Maths. Check out the channel for more mathematics related videos.